Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be taking a look and uh, try to understand a little bit better about the history and how things got started as well as what is Nobel Prize. Uh, I have heard a lot of people talk about it, but let's start. Uh, let, let's uh, try to understand a little bit deeper and what that is. Nobel Prize is a set of prestigious international <laughs> you need to say it's prestigious international awards that are given annually in several categories including physics, chemistry, psychology or medicine, literature, peace and economic science. So if there's only areas that it's limited to or it's uh, Perhaps at the core areas where they're looking to give the Nobel Prize to some of the discoveries that was made within those areas. These prizes were established by the will of Alfred Nobel, a Swedish inventor, engineer and industrial who is best known for inventing dynamite. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Nobel Prize uh, have been awarded since uh, 1901 and they are considered among the highest honors in their respective fields. Okay. The Nobel Prize in Physics, Chemistry, Psychology or Medicine, Literature and or Economic Science uh, are awarded based on the recommendations of various committees of experts in each field. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to individuals or organizations that have made significant contributions to promoting peace and resolving conflicts. Which is kind of great, so perhaps it's only limited to those areas, right? Uh, I thought if it would be up to me, I would be sticking to something uh, perhaps theme subjects, right? Of course, <laughs> but uh, perhaps a person who have came up with this concept had uh, different intentions in mind. Uh, let's jump on the company's website, and if anything, let's give uh, credit where credit is due. Let's start with the person, right? The man behind the prize of Alfred Nobel. Uh, for a great benefit to humankind. Alfred Nobel was an inventor, entrepreneur, scientist and businessman who also wrote poetry and drama. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Okay. <laughs> uh, but this is just my understanding, right? Kiss, uh, uh, varied interests are reflected in the prize he is established and which he lay the foundation for it. 80, 95, and he wrote his last will, leaving much of his wealth to the establishment of the prize. Since 1901, the Nobel Prize has been honoring men and women from around the world for outstanding uh, achievements in physics, chemistry, psychology, or medicine, literature, and uh, for work in peace. So it's perhaps it's something that he himself he understood a lot of value within those particular subjects, right? <laughs> there are a lot of letters out there that myself I might be interested in, in reading. Uh, the, some of those letters are very controversial. Perhaps it's just for sake of history in my work taking a look at as well as there's a letter of the or uh, in other words there is a will or testament of this uh, man, but perhaps uh, we, uh, since there's a lot of information to cover in my, uh, I might revisit that and I might do a full series where I'm taking a look at very interesting letters was uh, that was written by very interesting people. Some of those uh, figures in the world uh, who have written those letters are very controversial. So I'm not entirely sure if that would uh, have an effect in the future. <laughs> but myself, uh, just a part, that's part of history, if anything. Uh, but in today's society, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, within this channel, and uh, if anything, there's a lot of areas, right? I have covered uh, those areas in uh, previously, that would be physics, chemistry, medicine, and literature, uh, peace, price, as well as uh, different nominees. If anything, let's take a look at the economists and business, if anything. 
let's focus on that particular area. <laughs> perhaps it's less controversial. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's as if I have some mental g g gymnastics, if anything, right? <laughs> it comes to tackling someone else's work. And if anything, try, uh, trying to understand some of the good, some of the bad. But uh, we are all, not necessarily myself, I'm not perfect. And I don't know about others, right? <laughs> Uh, if anything, right? So the, <laughs> to make it, a, so there is a purpose, right? Why? Well, well, otherwise we're just doing things, right? Uh, sometimes I or myself, I will be doing a lot of research, taking a look at uh, different uh, education institutions of that, and some of those education institutions uh, might be able to offer different financial support for people who are struggling, or perhaps they do not necessarily have uh, additional support coming from whatever case might be, so, or perhaps. <laughs> Those education facilities, institutions should reduce the cost of education in the first place, right? <laughs> if anything, so lower the bar so more people can enter, if that makes sense. But if anything, right, it's good that they offer financial support available as well as how different people can see for that financial support, in particular when it comes to perhaps uh, some of those key areas and perhaps engineering, right? The, if anything, myself, I I would uh, myself and I think that a lot of society would benefit from having more engineers when it comes to uh, making things, uh, creating things, right? Putting things together, screwing things right together <laughs> so they would hold each other, right? Building bridges, <laughs> building cars, there should be more people <laughs> like that, building buildings, I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense, right? If anything, there should be more people like that and if anything, to, you know, there are different ways uh, how people can secure finance up there then it comes to securing the education and understanding uh, some of those areas and expertise then it comes to engineering right i uh, have done enough research to understand some of those opportunities available uh, within the uk and if uh, you yourself is something that you might be interested in becoming a nominee uh, that, but that would be perhaps a very small number of individuals so coming back to today's video that would be how to become nominated uh, for a Nobel Prize, right? Let's touch on that perhaps briefly. Uh, I've been trying to find some information on the uh, company's website about the process. Uh, places like, uh, since uh, this organization might be based in Sweden, what would be the process to nominate perhaps uh, more women based just on the fact that they are women to become more uh, not necessarily based on their skills, knowledge, and expertise, but on the fact that they are based, that they are women uh, into a field uh, to compete with other business on the world stage, uh, not necessarily limited to Sweden, into in the different subjects, uh, including engineering, right? I've been trying to find that, some of that information online on the company's website, but it's very hard to find, right? <laughs> very hard. It's very hard to find other notes because uh, uh, things are changing, things are moving all the time. It's <laughs> I'll try to reach out to this organization and see if uh, it's something that I will be <laughs> able to do. Uh, with uh, some of the implementations of what uh, different governments are doing, Perhaps it's worth bringing more people's attention to the subject. There should be more women in the field of engineering. Yourself, if you are interested in learning more, I have published a course. Within this course, I'm taking a look at different areas. Uh, some of those areas being uh, uh, finance, uh, personal development, uh, education. I'm focusing a lot on that. Uh, some of those things that I'm sharing within this course haven't been taught in school. Uh, some of the areas I personally believe are very important when it comes to understanding uh, what would be required of you to become more effective, more pro uh, productive when it comes to uh, establishing goals and achieving your goals. If anything, I had identified 12 different areas. I have structured this course so it will be Hercules <laughs> tasks, kind of, I guess. So around with this kind of concept right if you have any questions uh, if you would like to learn more feel free to reach out to me if not there's a qr code in the corner or uh, you can purchase that on the company's website below there are people who are trying to do something right uh, not necessarily agree with the methods that they are using that they are trying to achieve what they are trying to achieve but at least they're trying to do something when it comes to uh, perhaps uh, 
achieving the goals, uh, establishing the goals, perhaps some of those industries might be performing a little bit better compared to other industries. If anything, they are trying to bring more attention to those industries, right? As well as I have seen some uh, women with, uh, from uh, Sweden who are performing very well when it comes to constructions, right? <laughs> I have shared some videos, I think, in my early videos. So if anything, I agree that there should be more uh, uh, personally, who cares, right? <laughs> That's a performance base, right? So whoever can perform better, uh, that should be the target, not who you are, how you look. I don't know how, who making an argument about that. Who's arguing that? <laughs> well, if we are basing everything on performance based, right? So who is performing better uh, on the competitive level, right? So if you, there's the two companies, who are competing against each other, right? Only a best performer would win. Only a best performer. It doesn't matter who uh, who is within the company, the, all the other things. It doesn't really matter other than output of the company and how well uh, some of those companies can perform on the world stage. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.